Welcome to Metro State's Internship Information Session. In this session, we will cover what is an internship, how to find an internship, and where to start searching and applying, what makes a good internship, and how you can earn credit for your internship. Let's get started. An internship is an applied learning experience. This is a time where you can apply what you've learned in your classes to a real world work experience. At Metro State, internships can happen at any time in your academic career and may be paid. In order to earn credit for this experience, students partner with faculty who serve as a faculty evaluator. For every 40 hours of internship a student completes, they can earn up to one credit. The amount of credits a student can earn for their internship is dependent on the student's program. Tuition is paid for internship credits earned. In contrast, there are a number of things that an internship is not. An internship will never be something you are already doing, like your current job, because an internship should be focused on new learning. An internship should never be considered an easy A, as you are expected to demonstrate the learning you have accomplished at your internship. Although some internships are unpaid, an internship is not volunteer experience. Volunteer experience is not designed for professional growth and mentorship like an internship should be. An internship is not busy work. Your tasks as an intern should be focused around you developing new skills and growing in your chosen field. That's hard to do if you're doing repetitive tasks or things that do not relate to your coursework. Unfortunately, an internship is not a guaranteed job offer. Many employers use internships as a way to find new employees, but there's no promise from the employer that you will be hired once your internship is completed. Lastly, and most importantly, an internship is not something that's done after graduation. An internship is designed for currently enrolled students. Now that we know what an internship is, let's explore the benefits. Since you can earn credit for completing an internship, this experience can contribute to you completing your degree and helping you integrate classroom theory into real life experiences. On a professional or personal note, we know that internships can help build your confidence in your job search after graduation. Those who have completed an internship know they can do the job. Additionally, completing an internship can help you build a professional network and identify references. These people are essential in any future job search. Earning the skills and connections in your field provides you with a competitive edge for finding a job after graduation. Studies show that students who complete an internship while in school earn more job offers than their classmates who did not complete an internship. They also tend to have higher salaries offered to them too. Now that we know an internship is really important to our success, we have to discuss how to prepare for an internship. In the Career Center, we like to encourage people to start with writing a great cover letter and resume. These tools can help you as an internship seeker to identify what skills you want to learn while in your new internship. When we can identify what skills employers want to have upon graduation, we can focus our internship efforts on filling any gaps we might currently have in our resume. Many students believe they know how to write a resume, but did you know that it's estimated that 83% of employers will stop looking at a resume after they find only two errors? We want your resume to be perfect. You can receive support on creating or updating your resume through assistance from the Career Center, library staff, and from tutoring and testing services. Check out the Career Center's Resume Resources website in order to locate all of our available resources. Once you have your resume ready to go, we want to encourage you to start checking in with who might be a reference for your internship application. Contact the people who can speak highly about your performance, either at work or at school. These people should not be family members. Notify your references that you are searching for an internship they might have some opportunities for you to consider. 
We would also like to encourage you to log into your Handshake account. Handshake is Metro State's online job board. If you have not logged in before, you do have an account. When you log in, you will activate your account with your Metro State email and star ID password. Lastly, create or update your LinkedIn account. This is a great way for you to be connecting with your references and finding opportunities that you might be interested in. Once your resume is ready to go, we want to encourage you to start your internship search early. In fact, we like to suggest you start searching eight months before you intend to start an internship. Many companies start looking to fill their summer internship roles as early as September or October. If you did not start searching eight months in advance, do not worry. There will always be more internship opportunities, but they may not be your top choices. Most people looking for an internship will look on job boards and submit applications. If that's all you are doing, you are making your internship or job search harder than it needs to be. It's estimated that 80% of jobs are never posted on a job board. Networking is the most successful tool you have in order to find your next opportunity. Networking can be very formal, where you engage in professional associations or even on-campus organizations. Or you can connect with who is already in your network. Your faculty, advisors, even your classmates may know about opportunities in your field, but you may not know until you start asking. Sometimes people hear the word networking and can be intimidated, but the process of networking is really just talking to people. Talk to your friends, family, coworkers, even your neighbor about what they know and who they know. It is suggested that as our networks network, that is most helpful to us in our internship or job search. Before you accept an internship, we want to encourage you to ask yourself the following questions. What type of internship do you want? What skills are you hoping to develop? And what type of organization and work fits your interests and values? Exploring the answer to these questions can help you define what you want to get out of an internship and narrow your potential internship opportunities down. When you are in an interview for an internship, we encourage you to learn what type of training is provided, who will supervise you and what is their supervisory style, and what type of projects might you work on and what skills will those projects develop. The answers to these questions may help you identify if the internship opportunity is what you wanted to pursue. Prior to securing your internship, please review your department or college's internship guidelines. These are located on your department pages and also on the Career Center's website. Once you have an internship site, we want you to be able to earn academic credit for your experience. And in order to register for your credits, you must complete the academic internship agreement form. This form is also located on the Career Center's website and requires you to identify a competence statement or state what it is you're going to learn at your internship, your learning strategies or how you plan to learn what you state in, and evaluation methods or how you plan to show what you learned. When this form is complete, you must sign the form and have your site supervisor sign the form as well. Then you'll get a few more signatures across campus. Next, this completed form is emailed to internships at metrostate.edu. The internship coordinator will make sure you get registered for your course and notify you by email when that is completed. Internship registration does run later than normal classes. You can confirm the date you must have your paperwork in by reviewing the academic calendar and looking for the alternative learning strategies deadline. As you learned about earlier in this session, the internship search process is best done in support with your network. When it comes time to complete your internship, you will not be doing this alone. At your internship site, you will have the site supervisor providing you with day-to-day -day instructions. 
On campus, you have the faculty evaluator who may check in on your progress and will be responsible for entering your grade. The internship coordinator is part of the Career Center and staff member who processes your paperwork to get you registered for class. They are also someone you can connect with during your internship. Ultimately, the bulk of this process and internship is on you. As the intern, you are responsible for finding your internship, making sure the paperwork is completed correctly, and being a successful intern at your site. If you are an international student, you are encouraged to start your internship search by connecting with the International Student Services Office. You will need to complete the Curricular Practical Training or CPT paperwork and ensure that your internship is directly related to your major. You are encouraged to start this process even earlier as the companies who use CPT may be recruiting only at specific times. To summarize everything we covered today, we will wrap up by reviewing your next steps. First, review your department's internship guidelines and make sure you know what is expected for your major. Then make sure you have a great resume ready to share with potential internship sites and then start applying to opportunities. When you have landed that internship, connect with your program's faculty and complete the academic agreement form. We know that this presentation cannot cover everyone's individual questions, so we invite you to contact the Career Center to ask your questions and receive support on development of your cover letter, resume, and interview skills. Contact us at internships at metrostate.edu.